my precious young friends and everybody watching this moment, this uh, little devotional that we are having from the Word of God. Um, I want to thank God for uh, allowing me to be back and then to continue our exploration in the Word of God. And uh, precious Lord, grant us please your promise of the Holy Spirit leading us in the whole truth. In Jesus' name, Amen. Every word of God, said Mary, the mother of Jesus, every word of God, it's full of power. I am in Revelation chapter 22, verse 13, where Jesus, introducing himself, uses these words. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Alpha and Omega being the first and the last letter of the Greek alphabet. It was used like a symbol of somebody somebody or something that would be both the beginning and the end, would encompass the whole matter. What is the good news for us? Because behind every single word of God, there is a good news, there is a message, and every word of God has full power. I am the first and the last. It's communicating to us that Jesus identifies himself both with those that are the first in the world or in a certain area, but also with the last ones. We live in a world of competition. Competition in politics, in commerce, in sports, in military, in everything. There is competition. And competition, according to the modern philosophy, it's based on power, on resources, on intelligence, on different kind, uh, other kind of things. But some people, they are born in conditions or they are experiencing situation uh, at disadvantage compared or contrasted with others, they have an advantage in this area. How can God um, uh, unify and, um, and make justice to all categories? The last are the one that seems to be and to have deeper needs than the first ones. They are the successful ones. They are the one who who conquered one, and they, they are on the top of the world. Jesus says, yeah, uh, I identify myself both with the last ones and with the first ones. This, the last one with Jesus, it's perfectly equal with the first one with Jesus. The first one without Jesus, it's lower or behind the last one with Jesus. That's the equalizer factor, both in this life and in the eternal life. He's the one making us one in God. So there is no reason for discouragement for, or discontentment uh, or grumbling or different other, other attitude and, and, um, and feelings and emotions that we experience in different situations. There is no, no ground for that. Why is it, um, what happens in, in these two categories? Uh, what is the, the key element that can make the last one uh, equally with the first one? Uh, what is the key element? The key element is choice. Matthew 20, verse 16 says, the last shall be first. How, how can the last be first and the first last? No. Yeah. Many be called, few chosen. Oh, that's the key. That's the choice. The calling is addressed to everybody, but the choice, that's the one who determines the outcome. How can the last one be for the first? By joining or associating his life with Jesus. As soon as he associates with Jesus, you and me, well, my, let's see where the last ones, the, 
the poorest in different areas. Like uh, Socrates said at the end of his life, I know, I, I know that I know nothing. He declared being the poorest of all poor. Uh, what happens is that by associating my uh, poverty, my lacking of means and my disadvantage with Jesus, in his hands, like with the alchemist, uh, in his hands, my poverty, my being the last, becomes first. I associate myself with the first one, with the chosen of God, with the first of creation. He is the one through whom all things were created. He is above creation. He is not created, but he is the origin of everything that was creating. By associating myself, the last one, with him, I become the first. This is. Now, how, how can the first one be the last? Because he is already on the top of the world. We, by, by being proud and not associating himself with Jesus, refusing that because he is proud, he is in lack of nothing. He's, he, is, uh, he has everything and he rejects uh, even God, he becomes the last, because the first without God is lower than the last. Second Thessalonians 2.13 says, But we are bound to give thanks to God always for you, brethren, beloved by the Lord, because God from the beginning chose you for salvation through a sanctification, by the Spirit and the belief in the truth, you were chosen for this. God chose you from the beginning. Are you choosing God too? The last tends to be discouraged. The first tends to be proud. These are extremely dangerous uh, states of mind and soul for, for, for the human soul. These are extremely dangerous. But if we commit them to the Lord, both the danger of discouragement and the danger of proud, they are eliminated by the presence of our Lord. His presence makes the last to be first, and the beginning and the end and the Alpha and the Omega of life joins himself with us as we join him, us with him. May God bless us with this experience. Never be discouraged. What you really need is to join your life with Jesus. Don't be proud. Just join your life with Jesus and you will be protected against the cancer of soul. Thank you, precious Lord, who are the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Thank you for joining your life with us and bless us and help us to choose you as you chose us. In Jesus' name, amen.